Hello, hello. Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. 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 Why? Hello. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how entertaining this week is gonna be because I don't really have that much going on as per any week, but I think that's the best time to vlog because if I had too much going on in the week, I'm out of breath because I was searching for my SD card for my camera. I have one brand video that I need to film today and get sent over to them. And then maybe we can go to Trader Joe's, get some flowers for the house. I don't know if flowers are in season, but I think that could be fun. I just filmed a little silent <laughs> get ready with me over on my TikTok. Actually, it was really fun. I kind of like doing the whole little ASMR thing. It's kind of fun. Happy, happy Monday. I also need to get to the gym today and I'll be watching my hair soon because the curls gotta come back. I will say having straight hair is incredibly convenient though. I literally take a blow dryer to my front bangs every morning for the past two mornings, three mornings, and then my hair is all ready to go. Like I understand why some of you guys straighten your hair. Does that mean it's better? No, curls are still better, but I get it. It's convenient. Also the skin today. Okay. All right. Love you. Let's get on a roll with today. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna figure it out. So this is the setup that I have going. I actually moved a lot of my furniture to this backdrop because I think it's so cute. But yeah, this is the company video that I have to do. I have everything I need right here on the iPad that's like telling me, hey, this is exactly what you need to do. And I think this is for a holiday event. So, so crazy because it's only October and they're already working on holiday content. But this is like a little behind the scenes. I just have to do various things. <laughs> they're playing Fortnite. They're so loud and they play Fortnite. They both work from home, so anytime they have a break, they play Fortnite. I just have this nice little thing. It actually connects to my camera and my phone. And so I'm just going to connect that and then go ahead and get started on the content. And then maybe I'll make myself some lunch. I think that kind of sounds like a great idea. Oh my gosh, it's 2.37. Look how cute this little like setup is. I can't, it looks really crowded in person, but on camera, it looks really, really cute. In person, it's like, it's a little bit much, but I kind of, I still love it. Plus that door opens, but we're gonna pretend that it doesn't. Home Depot and got a few things. I got more of this stuff because I love cleaning my pots and my pans with this. It just works way better and once you start using it, you can't unuse it. So I had the paste version and I wanted to try the liquid because the paste just doesn't work very well. I don't know. I don't like it. I think I'm going to make the boy some dinner because he's working out on the porch. Um, he's been building a lot of things. Even though he's talking about not supposed to be doing that because he just had knee surgery on both knees. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> my little old man. I'm gonna go ahead and make him some food, but I don't want the same thing. He just wants teriyaki bowls. I want a club sandwich, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hope that he didn't eat all of the turkey. If and when you start living with a boy, you're gonna realize they eat everything. Even if they don't like it, they're gonna say, this tastes awful, and it's gonna be gone. Make it make sense. He'll try something, he's like, ugh, this is gross. Two days later, he's like, I go looking for it. I'm like, well, hey, um, where did this go? And he's like, oh, I ate all of it. I like my sandwich with mayo. I don't like mustard. I know that's like a hot opinion, hot take, but I don't like mustard at all. I like mayonnaise a lot though. And obviously this is gluten-free bread and I can't have cheese so there will be no cheese put on it. And if you're wondering the gluten-free bread because gluten-free bread is never full size. I finally found one that was full size and this is from Food Lion I believe. And it's just their, know, it's just deli style wheat free gluten-free energy select. It's not too bad. It's their sourdough. Honestly, I don't hate it. I just love how big the pieces are. They're actual pieces because usually gluten-free bread is like that big. It's insane. But she didn't think this was going to be a chefing video, did you? Delicious. Can't wait. I'm going to clean up a little and then I'll eat 
and then I will cook the boy some food. I'm letting his rice soak and then his meat thaw out too. Happy Tuesday. Honestly, I've just kind of been cleaning up around the house. I have to finish up laundry today. I'm gonna clean the kitchen. And then I was reading my new book that I got because TikTok kept talking about it. And I've kind of been interested in hockey recently. So I was like, this could be fun. It kind of starts off quick, not gonna lie. But I like that because I hate the first few chapters in a book where you're starting to get to know everyone. Like it's just really annoying. I just want to already be in the story. So I think it's gonna be good. Other than that, I think today, I know I said it yesterday, but I think today I actually am gonna go get flowers. Maybe I'll just go. I want to be out of this house. And it's a pretty day. So I think I just want to be out of the house. Try to debate if I want to wash my hair or not. Because I feel like, let me be honest. I don't really want to wash my hair. I enjoy it being straight Right now because it's so convenient but i'm also scared that people are going to start hating me online if i don't have it curly soon so that's kind of just part of the problem when you make a lot of your content about having curly hair when you don't have curly hair people are kind of like what are you doing we hate this look on you it's not as cute it's not as pretty and i made an entire dm conversation about that on my instagram story once because we we're being really mean yeah you're not as pretty without the curls or like we like the curls better or, i don't know just hateful stuff so I'm like, maybe I should wash my hair. I also don't want to do it. Like, it's just so easy. I can go in there, blow dry my bangs, wash my face, put on makeup, and then be ready for the day. Whereas curly hair right now, that's gonna be a whole thing for it just to maybe not even turn out good. <laughs> The curly girls know, if you know, you know. Anyway, yeah, I think it's just gonna be kind of a chill day. I do wanna get out of the house. And then maybe tomorrow I'll do something really, really fun. This is why vlogs are interesting for me because I don't really leave my house. I have to find reasons to leave my house, but maybe I should do vlogs more because then it'll keep me on task. It'll make me go to the gym, make me clean. Like make me actually film something rather than just me scrolling on my phone. a cleaning day than I was anticipating but once I get in the cleaning mood I don't want to get out of the cleaning mood <laughs> I deep clean the kitchen the living room I don't know why but I have no motivation to deep clean my bedroom that's kind of where I draw the line all right let's go to Trader Joe's <laughs> I heard all about their fall season stuff and I'm actually very very excited to see it so we're gonna check it out you like my socks I don't have a shirt I really want like a cute crop shirt like this that's like a baby tee it's not too cropped but it's like right above and I don't have one, so I feel like I'm back in middle school by tying it behind my back. I feel like I look stupid, but what other choice do I have? Plus, I want to wear my new Sambas, and they're black with the white stripes. And I don't have too much that matches that yet, so we're doing what we have to do. Ooh, hat or no hat? See, look how stinking cute. Like, oh, because you guys sold out all the white ones. I wanted the white ones that have the black stripes, but I'm hoping no one will see my socks. I swear, these nails hold up to everything. I've only had one pop off and I've had them on for four days. And I've been kicking everything. They're from Glamnetic, by the way. If you're looking for really, really good fake nails, Glamnetic's the way to go. These look legit. I love them. I don't know what this looks like. Does it look cute or does it look stupid? I don't know how to dress these sambas. I want to wear them. I just don't know how. Second question. Hat or no hat, okay? That's hat. Kind of cute. Or no hat. I know you guys were saying no hat anyways. All right, well. I'm gonna find my purse and find my keys because one of my keys actually doesn't work so I have to find the other one because my boyfriend left them in his pants and I washed his pants. So turns out what fobs, keys and fobs, they're not waterproof. Who would have known? Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Not me. Okay, let's go to Trader Joe's and try some new goodies out. Also, I think I may just mess around and maybe go to the mall because I'm just kind of bored. I wanna do something. Are they good? I know, I was like, I've had the gluten-free pumpkin juice and muffins and 
smells very yummy. I definitely have people looking at me like I'm batshit right now. Anyways, I was just in Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you guys what all I got. So I got this gluten-free pumpkin bread and muffin mix. And then I also got, I got all sweets. <laughs> I got these gluten-free oatmeal coconut cookies, which isn't really fall, but I've never seen them there before. So I was really intrigued. I'm hoping you guys stay put. You guys are balancing on my seaweed packs right now because I love dried seaweed. And then the star of the show are these gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins. I've actually already had a few of these and they're really yummy. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll just bring some of this stuff. We have a girls like Halloween night coming up, I think on Thursday of this week. So I may bring some of the stuff there so that I have stuff to eat. Also because there's no way I'm gonna eat all of these sweets in one go. But I'm gonna do a TikTok, I think, reviewing all of this stuff. I'm gonna make this when I get home with chocolate chip cookies because I just ran out of my banana bread that I made. Also, side note that I also think it's it's just really funny to me so I was just obviously in Trader Joe's and I was up at the cash register and the cashier kind of goes through all my stuff and she's like oh my goodness all this gluten-free stuff's really good I'm so happy that we're finally getting gluten-free things and I was like yeah you're right like I'm so excited too and then she was like how long have you been gluten-free and I was like since I was eight years old like that's when we found out that I had a really really bad gluten intolerance my mom kind of treated it like a celiac disease and I just never ate gluten again she was like oh well that's great like it'll keep you skinny again this is no hate towards her at all because most people just don't realize this, but it cracks me up when people say, oh, being gluten-free will keep you skinny when it has absolutely no correlation. Like sure, being gluten-free makes it harder for you to eat unhealthy. And you're obviously like, you're not at constant disposal of fast food or easy, you know, terrible ingredients for you. But if I really wanted to eat shitty, I could. Like being gluten-free doesn't mean that you're automatically gonna be skinny. And it's so funny to me because a lot of people with celiac disease, before they find out that they have celiac disease, they could be severely underweight or severely overweight. And they can't explain why. And so before I went gluten-free, I was severely underweight, like crazy underweight. And when I stopped eating gluten, I actually started gaining nutrients again because it messed up my stomach so bad. I could get into all the science of it. But anyways, like basically for me being gluten-free, means that I can actually gain nutrients again. Whereas before I would eat so much food and I couldn't gain anything from it. When someone says, oh, being gluten-free will help you get skinny. I'm like, no, when I first went gluten-free, I actually gained 15 to 20 pounds and I also grew four to five inches, which is wild to me. So just like PSA, being gluten-free doesn't automatically mean that you're going to be super skinny, just as well as like being vegan or being dairy-free. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be skinny automatically. Yes, it makes it harder for you to eat bad things, but if I really wanted to, I could. AKA what all I just bought just now. Like if I really wanted to, I could. But it's just funny to me like that people automatically connect those two things. Anyways, I also got flowers. I didn't mention that. My car's a mess, okay? Don't look at it, <laughs> but kind of look at it, yeah. I just, I have a really hard time keeping my car clean. It's just an actual mess. My whole house will be spotless and then my car is just kind of my my issue. I lied. I decided I was gonna go to Target instead because I don't know, because I want some new fall stuff to decorate the house with because it doesn't really feel like fall yet. None of the leaves are changing colors and it's still warm-ish. So I'm really dehydrated. Maybe I should get a Starbucks drink inside. Who said that? Who said that? I didn't say that. Who said that? Okay, so let's go over what I found so far. I did get my Starbucks, by the way. Okay, so first set, $10. It's so cute, isn't it? Okay, then I got these pillows to go on our couch. I'm hoping that they're not the exact same color as the couch. If they are, then I'll just come back and return them. But I figured it would work if I had this pop of orange. So, and then, do you guys know me? I drink tea every single morning, so this I thought was so cute and I don't have any fall theme mugs. My boyfriend's gonna kill me. He's gonna think that's excessive, but it's fall. Would I be white if I wasn't going crazy for fall? I thought it was cute. Got the mini one too. And then I don't like candles that smell like sugary sweetness, apple, I'm delicious. So I didn't get that. So I decided to eat this instead. And it smells like cedar. Like it's campfire and I like that. I like the campfire smell. But yeah. That is everything so far. I think I'm going to try and see if they have any other pillows because the pillows that they have up there were ugly. They were ugly. They were saying great phones here. And I'm like, I'm not a white 40 year old woman yet. I don't need grateful and thankful and fruit is love all over my kitchen. This is your look, Connie, baby. <laughs> what a good song. Am I the only one who thinks those things are absolutely terrifying? Like, what is that one? 
That one right there. That's scary. I'm not gonna lie. Right now I'm so beat and tired. Brady's over at his little brother's soccer game. So, and my stomach kind of hurts. <laughs> I think it's because I didn't even drink all of it. It takes me forever to drink drinks. Brady always gives me a hard time because this takes me forever to drink. But also anything else, like I could have a cup of water with me for an entire day and I will take like three sips out of it. I just don't know why, but I, I just don't drink things. Anyways, I think it's because I drink so much of that that now I'm like not feeling well. I do still want to make dinner and I really, like it's something that I really, really love. I love making dinner for Brady or for really anyone like I just I don't know it's I love acts of service like to give those and so it makes me really happy to be like look what I made you and um so I think I'm going to go to the grocery store and get stuff to make dinner I saw this one recipe for these like spicy cilantro or it's like cilantro rice this like paprika chili powder chicken with honey on it and then also a really really fresh like peach salsa and something about that sounds really yummy I don't know if they have peaches right now because I feel like that's not in season but if they don't then maybe I'll just get canned mangoes because I feel like just diced mangoes in a can would also be pretty good I'm gonna put on a different outfit because obviously I'm not going to food lion in this unless no no so let's go to the grocery store today's actually been a lot busier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm back and I got my groceries. I think I'm going to put on Twilight and I'm going to make some yummy dinner. <sighs> Let's make dinner, shall we? Ah, limes on the floor. If you've ever had a lime drop on your toe, shit hurts. <laughs> really does. How does one cut a mango? Is it like, does it just cut all the way through or is there a seed? I don't really know. I don't think I've ever cut a mango. Well, that shows. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? How does someone do this? Okay. Wednesday. Hey, hey, hey. If you hear anything, it's actually just my roommate. He's on a work call. Anyways, I had quite a few work calls this morning, so I really haven't done anything. Uh, it's actually like 11 30. Wait, no, it's like 12. And I'm gonna get ready because I'm getting lunch with my best friend today. I have lunch today with my best friend. Then I'm gonna just edit a few more videos, put away some of the laundry that I folded last night. I watched Twilight last night. I didn't film that, but that was really fun. And then I think also we're gonna go on a date night. jeans as yesterday because I'm lazy. Don't mind the mess. Oh, you guys can't even see the mess. How great is that? All right, we're gonna go hang out with Lo and then we're gonna go to Chipotle. That sounds really, really yummy, so I'm just waiting because she always comes and picks me up because I'm a passenger princess. Let's go. Hello, just got back from lunch. I think it's like three o'clock now and I really wanna do my hair really cute again. And so I think I'm actually just gonna to go to the store real quick and get some dry shampoo so that I can redo my hair. Get ready for my date night. We were looking at doing movies, but honestly, there just doesn't seem like there's any fun movies out right now. Well, correction, there's lots of fun movies for me. I love horror movies, Brady does not. So I think we may actually do something different. Go ahead and start getting ready. He's at the gym and by the time he gets back, it's probably, I still won't even be done getting ready. Just kidding. I just got a lot of packages from Amazon. So we're gonna open those up. It's just like super basic. I saw that it was like a Lululemon type dupe. Oh my goodness, is this the purse? Look at this tiny, how? Oh my God, it is. Once it, you know, isn't in a C shape. 
I don't get the point spending really nice money on purses when I can just get something like this for $20 off of Amazon. So, that's exactly what I was wanting. It always smells weird though. So I got Brady this cute little white car part. Then I also got him this really cute sweater. I had to get boxes because if you guys don't know, I get a giveaway. And I didn't have any boxes. And also, UPS in them, they charge a lot for boxes. And I was not about to get them all of my monies for boxes when I could just get this when I'm probably going to do more and more giveaways. <gasps> they give me little smiley face stickers. Yeah. It's just my boxes. So now I can go ahead and get those giveaways shipped out. I'm excited because I was really nervous about that. I was like, I want to get them shipped out. And I started feeling so bad. It came in just in time. Now I have like a little present for him for our date night, which is really fun. <sighs> I love gift getting. I love it. All right, done getting ready. And now we're going to go to dinner. We're going to go to this one place that we tried to go to before, but I think it was like only serving breakfast at the time and we actually wanted lunch. So we're going to retry it for dinner. I'm excited. He's still working. He never stops working. <laughs> Oh, I should have got it before. Give us a review though. Oh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? This is like a little protein shake. Got egg whites in it, so. You getting those gains? Let me see them. Dang. Good morning and happy Thursday. I am getting rid of the straight hair today. So curls will be back. I just posted a TikTok about how I basically get my hair back to curly. I mean, obviously it's just as easy as adding water, but my scalp gets really itchy and I add a mask and I add like little intensive serums in my scalp and yada, yada, yada. Today I have a pretty important like finance meeting I have to go to. And then I also have to get these giveaway packages sent out. And then I also, I'm missing something. Oh, I have a girl's dinner thing tonight. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, we're doing like a little fall, like a fall, everyone brings their favorite fall things over to one of my friend's apart apartments. Can you tell it's early? I cannot speak. Last night was really, really fun. Date night was really, really fun. If I had any advice to give to anyone who is in like a long-term relationship, and especially someone where if you live with like your partner, you need to have date nights because you feel like you see them all the time and you feel like you're getting quality time with them, but sitting on the couch and you know watching a show or like just being in the same house as them isn't quality time. Like you do need to set time aside to really go and do something and or like have a date night at home or like you just need to make sure that you're still showing each other that you care. So I think that was really, really fun. I did get a new PR box already this morning, which is insane, so hold on. I'm excited to introduce my new foundation, the latest edition in our signature soft light collection. The build-up or coverage has a weightless feel and soft matte finish. Ooh, I don't like soft matte finishes. Uh, but anyways, with a beautiful blurring effect, it's enhanced with bioengineered skincare that responds to the complexion's unique needs, making it suitable for all skin types. It's by far one of my favorite formulas yet. I hope you love it as much as I do warmly. Rosie Huntington, is it Whitley? Isn't she married to the one guy from Fast and Furious? Number three foundation brush. I also got little hair clips. I doubt these are gonna work in my hair, sadly. <laughs> I have to use like the big salon guy. Oh geez, how many did they send me? Oh my goodness, they sent me three. I have a really cool feeling about these bottles because I remember all the other Rose stuff. This is the first time I've ever gotten anything from Rose. I know that their packaging is beautiful. Oh wow, look how fancy. Oh, that's beautiful. I love foundation brushes are my favorite. Because I love dense brushes, like there's something about them. If I could pay someone just to like rub a brush over my face at all times, I would. I'm going to get ready to go to the gym because that's what I honestly need to do today. I always end up going to the gym like halfway through the week and then the weekend throws me off and then I don't go again until halfway through the week.
This is the outfit. The outfit. <laughs> uh, Vans. These are from Alphalete, Lululemon, and then like a little Amazon jacket. So yeah, got my beats with me. So this is, oh wait, I haven't even put on my shoes. But I was gonna say that I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some stuff because I think I'm just gonna make pico and guac for the like friends dinner tonight. Let me put my shoes on. The jeans are from Addicted, obviously Converse, and then, or wait, the jeans are from Princess Polly, and then the top is from Addicted. And then my little bows that I have in my hair, I actually just made from Michael's Craft Store. So, just from some ribbon. And then, this purse is from Amazon. I'll have it linked on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested. Let's go to the grocery store. Perfect avocados at the grocery store. So exciting. Muffin mitts. I'm gonna make bread. 55 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 